I realize I am very late to this. I literally only have two hours left to choose. And I'm glad I remembered because if I missed this, I would have regretted my life and probably would have ended my YouTube career. And not that I'm really doing much with it. Um, but yeah, um, I'm finally going to choose my free four star. I'm, I'm actually going to choose two free four stars because as you guys know, I have two fake Grand Order JP accounts that I, both of them I play pretty religiously. Um, and one of the reasons I've waited so long, I waited till the last two hours to finally choose my free four star is because I don't really know who to choose. Now, um, just starting off with Saber Altar, I kind of want her, I always want her since I first got the game, but at the point where I am with the game, I have so many sabers that I don't really feel like trading another saber that I'll be honest, I probably won't use because I have so many other options that are probably better. I have a goddamn MP4 Mordred, four times she spooked me, so I don't need another AoE saber. Honestly, I don't. Um, even though, yes, uh, Saber Alta is a four star, so she would be cheaper as far as putting into the team. But as you know, I don't want to NP1 Saber Alta and then just end up using my MP4 Mordred more often than not. So, and Nero, I already have her. Siegfried, why the fuck would I choose him? Uh, Chevalier, I already have. Her at MP3, so eh, you know, it's whatever. Uh, Rama, don't really care about Rama to be honest. Um, I'll probably care more about him as soon as Sita drops. And if you guys don't know, Sita is Rama's wife who happens to look almost exactly like him. And uh, Rama is notorious, um, infamous, I'd even go as far as saying, uh, with his fan art, his fan art is very lewd, despite the fact he has a wife. So it's like, why are people looting him up? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Lancelot, uh, Lancelot, at least Saber Lancelot is obviously one of the best four star sabers in the game. At one point, he was even called the best saber in the game. I don't know if that's still true to this day. It's still a very good unit, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I would choose him for a free four star, and I already have him, so it doesn't really matter to me. Then there's Gwen. I don't really give a damn about Gwen. I already have him, whatever. Suzuka goes in. I kind of like her, but I already have her. Yagyu, I don't give a damn about him, and I already have him, so, you know, whatever. Uh, the Armweed Saber, I know a lot of people were looking forward to him, and a lot of people do like him. It's, you know, he's a hot guy. You know, I, I love my, me some hot guys, but it's kind of the same reason as Saber Altar in the sense that I have a lot of sabers. So I think with the, all the saber classes, honestly, I don't really want to choose a saber. As for archers, I have the King of Heroes NP5, so. Enough said. King of Heroes. That's already a plus. That already eliminates every archer in the market. MP5. Do I need another archer? Honestly. Let's be honest with ourselves. Especially a four star archer. I mean, Emia. Who gives a shit? Atalanta. Eh. Tristan. Eh. Emia Alter. Who gives a shit? Tomoe goes in. I, you know, I already. I, I like you, Tomoe goes in. Don't get me wrong. I already have you. So, we're good on that. I don't need you on NP2 though, you know? You know what I mean? I know you were, you helped Gilgamesh a little bit in Babylonia. You were a little bit involved there, and that was great. That was awesome. I love you. I like your design, especially your design. Your design is the shit. And I know a lot of people picked you as their free four star. Um, you're a very popular choice for that, actually. But for me, I don't need you NP2. One is enough. I got you, fam. Um, Chiron, I almost forgot his name. Um, who cares? <laughs> I'm moving on to Lancers, dude. Same reason as Archers. I have Enkidu. NP5. Bro. Bro. Elizabeth Bathory, I already have you. NP5. Lancer, Arturia. Eh, Finn McCool, who gives a damn. Uh, I. Why am I forgetting your name? Lee Shuen, that's the name, yeah. Uh, yeah. I already have you. Don't really care. <laughs> Vlad Lancer, fuck you. Medusa Lily, I have a lot of you, so whatever, whatever. Parvati, admittedly, I'm starting to um, appreciate the character more, mainly because of the artist, if you guys don't know the controversy behind that artist, of the artist behind uh, Parvati and Bodica and a couple of other servants, I believe, uh, Nessa as well, um, he got a lot of backlash regarding Parvati, so I have a bit more um, respect for the character and the design because of what happened to the artist. Um, and then there's Nessa, same artist, same same kind of spiel. But I think I already have you, Nessa. So I don't really... I might not have you, actually. I might be wrong. I'm not going to go out of my way to check. But I don't really want you, so it doesn't really matter. Valkyrie, though, you spooked me twice. So, we good. 
<laughs> I like you. I like you. So, uh, Marie Antoinette, meh. Who doesn't have her at this point? St. Martha, meh. Who doesn't have her at this point? Uh, Bonnie and Reed, kind of. Who doesn't have her at this point? Asafo, I don't give a fuck. Medea Lily, we'll get back to her. Nursery Rhyme, eh, Helena. So, everyone else, I'm not going to go through the whole list because that's going to take forever. But I did decide on Medea Lily because, um, you know, one would think, because if you guys know, I actually do like Medea as a character, just her as a character as a whole, normal Medea, Medea Lily, it doesn't really matter, as well as the design, uh, as her design. But the reason I didn't pick her right away, right off the bat, day one, as soon as uh, this free four star thing was available, it's because I don't have any caster skill reinforcement items and the thing about Medea Lily is that she's very niche in the sense that she's only good for healing and the only way she could be decent at that is if you upgrade her skills to a high enough level to the point she could NP spam she could heal the entire team consistently and all that so the fact that I can't upgrade her skills to the max it's kind of putting a you know kind of putting a damper on things it's because I trained um, Scotty and then I trained Waver, and then I trained Shuten, uh, Caster Shuten, so I really don't have any more Caster shit, but because everyone else here I don't really want, don't really need, don't really care about, already have a copy of them, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a character that I actually like, that I don't have, and that's gonna be Medea Lily, and honestly, Saber Altar was a contest, was, was a contestant for this shit, did contest this shit, so I, I you know, but Medea Lily, I mean, I, I like her more as a character, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pick her. There we go. Oh, there we go. And I, like I said, I'm gonna be t picking two free four stars. You guys are gonna see exactly how that's gonna work because I'm gonna snap my finger right as soon as we get. I'm bonding with John Alter if you're wondering why she's there. Um, I didn't even start the event yet, Jesus. Um, as soon as Medea Lily stops talking, we're going to move on to the next 4 star we're going to pick, alright? Boom! Alright, Medea Lily, never had you in this account, so it's been a while since I heard your dialogue. I think the last time I heard it was in NA, so hello to you again. Medea Lily, got you fam. Hell yeah. Look kind of nervous though. Okay, you don't have to be nervous. Uh... Yoroshiku, motherfucker. Okay, I'm just kidding. I know how to speak a little bit basic Japanese, but <laughs> uh, There we go. There we go. So yeah, again, she's not the best servant honestly Gameplay wise Saber Altar would have been the better choice because she does hit pretty freaking hard uh, Medea Lily is very niche. She, she's only good for healing and when you have other servants like Merlin Scotty and other casters that kind of do the same thing she does but a lot more as well then she kind of falls onto the wayside but i still like her as a dedicated healer obviously on more um difficult quests it, it would be smarter for me to just bring tomo merlin or any other caster in the market but medea lily i like you as a character so that's why i'm willing to pick you despite having all the other options available to me so i hope you appreciate that medea lily but yeah let's go move on to the next bitch so again guys i have another account so i need to pick another free four star for this account and this is going to be different because as you guys just saw i did pick medea lily in my other account uh because i do like her as a character and i don't have her so why not but in this account i'm gonna pick a servant that i actually already have um i'm gonna go ahead and skip through all these obviously uh, gameplay wise this might not be the best choice but i am gonna pick atalanta altar i already have her and she is only np1 though and i did grail her to level 90 so it's kind of weird having a grilled servant that's only np1 obviously if you guys have that going on with your servants you know more power to you and you don't care you know that's whatever but for me if i'm gonna grail somebody i'm gonna have to put in as much work as possible as i can and i'm gonna be have to NP level them up as often as I can or as much as I am able to, you know what I mean? So, to have a free 4 star and not to pick Atlanta Alter, especially after grailing her, would be a crime against humanity itself. 
But uh, just to look through the other choices, just to make sure I don't regret my decision, because I think the first uh, free force I chose for this account was Haitian Lobo because I needed a um, a quick uh, Avenger, and admittedly she, he's not really the best servant. I didn't grill him, so I don't really feel um, obligated to um, grill him or not grill him to pick him again. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick Atlanta Alter. I don't think there's another choice. I just want to make sure I don't miss out on anybody that I might regret myself on not getting. But it looks like that is honestly probably the best choice as of right now. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick Atlanta Alter. I already have Lancelot, so if you're wondering why don't I pick him, I already have Lancelot. Um, obviously, he got in, he's gotten a lot more attention and a lot better thanks to Scotty um, and his potential NP spam in uh, a lot of quests not every quest but a lot of quests so without further ado atlanta alter i'm gonna pick you again you are gonna become np2 motherfucker so there we go i hope that didn't ruin everything i think the, uh, literally the login uh thing just happened so i hope that didn't um that didn't glitch me out and had me waste my ticket without me claiming my free four star yet because i would be honestly uh, very upset this video is gonna i don't know if i'm gonna edit this part out but um if you're not aware of what's going on right now the login thing it's it just hit 11 o'clock where i'm at so the game is kind of resetting in a sense to um get the present box and shit so uh well i didn't hit 11 i just said i didn't log in i, I don't know how exactly to explain did i get did I get Atlanta? Okay, please tell me I didn't waste my ticket. Okay, I didn't waste my ticket. I was about to say, if I wasted my ticket, I was going to be mad as fuck. Okay, so there we go. We're going to pick Atlanta. Alta. I was scared. I was honestly scared. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick her. Jesus Christ. That scared the shit out of me. But there you go. Atlanta Alter. It's my second copy. And again, obviously not the best servant. But the reason I like her is because of her role in Apocrypha. As, um... Specifically, her role um, towards the end of the series where uh, she kind of went crazy, bad shit crazy because uh, John, uh, spoiler alert, uh, John killed Jack or didn't kill Jack but freed her from this realm, which is pretty much the same thing as killing. So, yeah. Um, and as you guys know, I am a huge fan of Jack the Ripper. If you guys could see my three figures, I don't know if you guys could see it. It's right there. Um, I should organize my shit better, but um, there we go. So, we're going to go ahead and upgrade her np level there we go np2 grailed and all that beautiful shit so awesome stuff right there let's go ahead and skip it np2 boom so i hope you guys somewhat enjoyed i again i'm kind of late to this party i'm sure everyone already chose their free four star so let me know guys who you guys ended up choosing as your free four star and maybe even give me a reason behind it obviously i give you my reasons medea lily i like the character I like the design i think she's an okay servant uh i don't have her so that those are the reasons why i chose her as for atlanta alter again i grilled her so i feel inclined to upgrade her np level as often as i can as soon as the opportunity presents itself whether it's as a free four star servant or if, if a gotcha drops that has her in it, I kind of feel inclined to go after her, especially after grailing her. So let me know, guys, what 4-star did you choose and the reasons behind choosing that 4-star. Was it because of the character design? The lore? Was it just to make them stronger? Is it because you didn't have them or whatnot? Let me know. And, of course, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. And, of course, comment down below. Let me know what you think about these... Um, I was going to say these rolls, but now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't really roll. I just chose a 4-star. Whatever. Uh, just let me know what you think about this video, I guess. And, of course, if you're not subscribed already, uh, subscribe right now to become a supporting character. To me, the main character, because without you guys, I'd be the only character. And that kind of sucks. That's kind of lonely, and I don't want to be the only character. That, that, that would be lonely and boring. And nobody wants to be alone and bored. That just that that just sucks. The, the next thing that would suck for me is if I start getting hungry. So I would be hungry, bored, and alone. Like, that's kind of the worst things that could happen, bro. That's the worst things that could happen. I might as well just end my life. I'm just kidding. No suicide jokes here. Although I do make some fucked up jokes. Okay, I'll just stop the video right now. I'll see you guys on the next one.